Hi, my name is Graydon Blair with Utah Biodiesel Supply, and it's time for a biodiesel update. Um, I've had a lot of questions recently about which trucks are good with biodiesel, and so I figured I'd give you my spiel. Um, now, I have to say this is my opinion. Uh, it's not gospel, but it's my spiel, and it's it's kind of what I've um, what I've seen with working with different people. Um, I'm going to go from newest to oldest. Um, 2012 trucks that run good on biodiesel. Uh, the only one that I'm aware of that you can put B100 in right now is a uh, GM Duramax powered uh, diesel engine. I'm not going to touch on the heavy duty semis and stuff like that, just the, just the small trucks. Uh, in 2011, GM modified the way that they make their diesel particulate filters work. Instead of injecting fuel in the engine, they now inject it outside of the engine. I don't know where. I, it might be near the turbo. Someone may be able to respond and tell me where. But they're not injecting uh, raw fuel in the engine anymore and then vaporizing it and traveling down to the diesel particulate filters. So the issue of biodiesel getting into the engine oil went away with those trucks. So 2011-2012 Chevy Duramax engines, while they're only warranted to handle B20, can do B100 just fine. I've actually got a customer in Salt Lake City that bought one. Um, I think he's had it for about four months now. No problems at all. Um, going back before 2011, uh, Ford <coughs> is warranted to handle B20 from about 2010 on, I think. Um, Chevy is warranted for B20. Dodge is only warranted for B5. Um, however, if you buy it in a fleet program, they will kick in and say, okay, you can put B20 in it. Um, but B5 is all they warrant for personally is walking into a dealer and buying one. Volkswagen, Mercedes, BMW, and all the rest of the import diesels are still 5%, uh, up back, clear back to about 2007 and that's because of the diesel particulate filter. I've heard rumors that the BMW is actually doing quite well. Um, no one's really told me how that's working, but I've got a, I've got a friend that's using biodiesel in a BMW and it's doing pretty well. So that, that might work. Uh, it's an awful expensive vehicle to test unless you know for sure though. Previous to 2007, um, the Dodge did great. Um, there are some issues in the Dodge in the years of 1998 to 2002 where they had weak lift pumps and so I recommend that you put a uh, secondary lift pump in those vehicles to pre-pressurize it. It wasn't a, it was kind of an OEM issue. If you've studied the trucks, you know the issue. Put it in, biodiesel is not an issue on those trucks. Chevy, the Duramax, um, 2001, 1, 2, I can't remember what year, I think it's 2001 forward up to 2006 uh, can run B100 in them just fine. I've got thousands of people that have run it through it. Uh, I've got a guy locally that's had an 01. I think he had an 02, 04, 05, 06, you know, 07 pre-emissions. Um, did great. No problems. Great trucks. Let's talk a little bit about Ford. In 2002 or 2003, Ford switched over to a 6 liter diesel engine. Um, my personal opinion is I will not put biodiesel in a 6 liter Ford diesel engine. They have numerous problems. Adding biodiesel to that adds, just exacerbates those issues. Um, I've had a lot of customers report they've had to replace fuel injectors, fuel injection pumps, um, lots and lots of issues with it. Can you run biodiesel in those trucks? Yes, but it's somewhat difficult at best. If you're serious about doing it and you want to do it in a six liter, the things I would recommend is number one, make sure your fuel passes the quality test. 327 test, that thing's got to have absolutely no fallout. Uh, you've got to have absolutely no soap in that fuel. So do a soap test on, on the fuel. Um, you've got to make sure it's absolutely dry. And then, once you've done those three things, you then need to make sure you filter the fuel down extremely well. Um, I think the trucks have either seven or 10 micron filters on them, I would take your fuel down to five micron before feeding it to a Ford. And I would I'd also recommend that you put a secondary lift pump on the Fords. They've got high pressure fuel pumps on them. The problem with them is if the fuel ever gets thick or the inject or the, the filters start plugging on them, the injectors just in the Fords just cannot handle um, 
being dry, run dry. They, they self-destruct. And if they do self-destruct, you're talking about pulling the cab off of the truck to replace those injectors. Very, very expensive proposition. I, I just, I don't recommend it. I, I personally will not put biodiesel in a six liter Ford. So use it your own use on a six liter. There are some people that have had success with them, but um, not my best recommendation to use it in. Ford 7.3 back is awesome. They, they, they just, they do very, very well. Um, I've not had many people have any issues at all. Um, my biodiesel that I'm personally making with a friend is fed to a 7.3 liter diesel engine and does great. Um, Nebraska BioPro, who's uh, one of my vendors, has used it in numerous 7.3s in 100% and no problems. It just, they, they eat it with, with no problems. Same with the Cummins. The Cummins do really well, minus that little time period that I told you about, 98 to 2002. Um, previous to that, uh, those engines, uh, pretty much most of the old diesel engines are going to be able to run biodiesel just fine. Um, some other notable things, uh, Volkswagen up through about 2002, 2003 runs great. Once you get into the new pump douche pumps, they still run good, but um, there are some issues with the pump douche pumps that you want to be aware of. Uh, they're just not as reliable, I've heard. If you want to learn more about running biodiesel in a VW, visit drdansbiodiesel.com. Uh, he's an expert at running them in those trucks, or in those vehicles, the Volkswagens, and they do great. Mercedes, um, pretty much anything up through about 2006 runs great. They, they do really well. The older ones love it, back in the early 80s and such. Um, I, I have heard some of the ones from about 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003 have rubber fuel lines on them still and they have issues with the rubber deteriorating. Um, they, but they, they like biodiesel. They'll eat it just fine. Uh, the really old trucks, I had an Isuzu pickup. It drank it like it was bio, like diesel fuel and it ran better on it. So the older ones really don't have issues. But again, so then kind of to recap the newer ones, if you want anything 2007 and newer, um, either figure out how to deal with the diesel particulate filter or uh, 2011, 2012, you can run B100 in the, in the GM Duramax engines. Um, Ford, stay away from six liters if you can. The 7.3s do great. Dodge, uh, 98 to 2002 has the lift pump issue. Everything else does pretty well, up through again about 2006. Uh, and that's kind of quick little tips on what I've heard in the marketplace. We did a recent survey. Uh, we'll be publishing that information pretty soon to see what people run it in. Uh, the Jeep Liberty uh, does really well. Um, that is one I didn't talk about. 05 and 06 Jeep had a Liberty diesel engine in it and they do very well. You do need to filter the fuel. You need to make sure you get good fuel and it needs to be really well filtered. They, they are prone. They've got a really fine fuel filter on it and they can plug up pretty quick. Uh, but that's kind of my tips on diesel engines to run biodiesel in. If you've got questions, feel free to email us or call us, uh, utahbio.com. Um, thanks for watching.